As design trends shift and evolve, so does your need as a designer for new fonts. So in this video, I'll share with you seven free fonts that we've been using in our designs recently, fonts that are absolutely on trend. <laughs> Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Tools, the show where in 10 minutes or less, you're going to get a dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus while we try and navigate the biggest communication shift in 500 years. I'm your host, Alex Mills, joined as always by the boss man, Brady Shearer. We've talked in recent episodes, Alex, about the design trend. Mm -hmm. It's most on trend right now, brutalism My design. least favorite of all time. Almost, <laughs> not almost, most definitely purposefully breaking the rules of design. Yeah. Why? Well, because Gen Z has decided that their <laughs> chosen way to rebel yeah. is through design. Isn't it hard though, like as a creative, a designer, a photographer, whatever it is, when when the collective trends trend in a different way that, than your like preference, isn't it hard to like adapt your designs to follow the trend? I find that at, at least in my own, like I don't love a lot of these fonts, but I think that we need to be using them because they are consistent with web brutalism. And so I've had to stretch myself to find creative ways to use them, but I found success doing it. It's hard. You're old, yeah. right? So that's right. the problem. Because <laughs> philosophically, whether it's design, let's use another example, music. We all say when we're younger, yes, we're always gonna like the yeah, coolest of music. Course. And I'm now 27 and have yet to not be able to stay on trend right. with the youths. Yeah, you're a big K-pop fan. Fashion is a similar <laughs> thing. You know, baggy clothes are coming back yeah. in, and that worries me. <laughs> right. Because I'm like, I, wait. You won't go there. Wait, like, the, like slim fits make us all look good. Yeah. Like, it's slimming. It's <laughs> like, it makes, why would we all just wear giant bags? <laughs> right. Like, this We've is been not there. It didn't the two, work. 2001 NBA draft. Yeah. Like, we don't need to go back to this. Yeah. And with music, it was tough, you know? When 50 Cent was the number one thing, <laughs> And you know, that was what was popular. I was like, great, okay, I'm into rap. Yeah. And then we all went to house music with LMFAO, uh -huh. and Calvin Harris. I was like, great, I'm into that. And then sad rap became popular. <laughs> uh -huh. And again, Gen Z being like, yeah, nothing's worth being yeah, happy I'm about. so sad. Right you wouldn't now. believe how sad I am. <laughs> and now, you know, it, it was tough at first, but I found a way. Yeah. And I'm going to find a way with brutalism. And me too. I'm going to hang I'm, on. I'm committed. I'm to hanging it. on. Yeah. I think I could make it till at least 35. We're gonna share seven fonts, all of which are free for nonprofit and personal use. We have used each of these fonts in recent designs, and mm. we will show you those design examples as well. Number one, this font is called Coder's Crux. If you have ever done code mm -hmm. inside of a code application, you recognize, you can see in your mind's eye what that font looks like. This font emulates the font that you would use yeah. in code. And so we used it on a quote post, a social media video, the quote from Elizabeth Elliot. I think you provided this quote. Yeah. It says, God has promised to supply all our needs. What we don't have now, we don't need now. And we put this on the beautiful backdrop of Yosemite National Park. And just slap some code font on it. Why? Because there are no <laughs> rules. And we will purposely break any rules yeah. that exist to stop your scroll and to earn your attention to share the message of Jesus with you. Yes. Which is why I'm disappointed in you and your unwillingness <laughs> to share the faith with I others. I said I'm willing. You're prioritizing your design over <laughs> Jesus himself. I'm willing, but I'm weak. Well, <laughs> where you are weak. The These Lord fonts are strong. And my love for brutalism design is strong. Secondly, the second font on our list it's called Inconsolata. It's like inconsolable, which is how Alex feels about these fonts. <laughs> right. But at the end, it says la 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 la. Yeah. Inconsolata. All of these will be linked in the show notes yeah. so you can find them. We use this on a quote post as well. An individual called Henry Nguyen. Nguyen. Yeah. The quote we used here For Jesus, there are no countries to be conquered, no ideologies to be imposed, no people to be dominated. There are only children, women, and men to be loved. And this isn't a serif. It's not a sans serif. It's a monospace font, and so it's meant for uh, printed code, and so it's still, it kind of, it falls into that code space again, but doesn't look like as, you know, computer generated. It's a little softer. It 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 could be, it leans towards being a, a, a sans serif, but it's a monospace code font again. <laughs> Font number three, <laughs> VT323, the yeah. name of the font. You could be concerned by the name of this one. <laughs> Again, VT323, it is a Google font. 
We use this in a Bible reading social media this template. This font is actually really interesting because it's not made up of square or rectangle pixels. You, you have to look at it on a big screen, but the pixels are actually uh, a little bit rounded. It's super unique. It's like a font that were made out of Tetris. Yes. You took Tetris pieces yes. and made that into a font. Yeah. You'd get VT323 yeah. font number four BP dots. <laughs> I can't. It doesn't get better from <laughs> the names of these fonts are just as bad. That one's as just dots. Look. It's made just of dots. Is there a circular dot in Tetris? No. No. So every single letter, look at the way we're looking at our phones. I know. We are, we are old. They're right up to our yeah. faces. Every single letter is made up of, you know, 12 to 24 individual dots. This one's fun, though. This is, this is unique. I like it. We took this font and we gave it a black outline, mm -hmm. which again would be considered just heresy <laughs> yeah. with flat design yeah. and minimal design. And now every single letter is made up of 24 <laughs> dots. Is that enough? No. Give it a complete black outline. Yeah. Because why? No rules. Break them all. Font number five. Finally, okay. a normal name. Jeffries. And there's a light at the end of this tunnel because this font is nice. Yes. This would be a font that you could use in a more traditional way. You could use it for a headline, probably. It is a little bit quirky yeah. in that it is a little like, rigid. It doesn't have nice smooth corners. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, just a little bit jagged on the edges. Uh, but we use this for a simple coffee post. Hey, if you could have coffee with one person from the Bible, not Jesus, who would you choose and why? And that type of post just didn't warrant an aggressive, <laughs> ugly font. Right. And then the nicest font there on this we go. list, which is font number six, Poppins. And it's about oh. as pleasant as Mary herself. Sounds sweet. Can you take yeah. this one away, Alex? How would you describe this? Uh, this font's great. It's super clean. Uh, we have it like in caps lock here, uh, which I think is a great use for it. Uh, like I said, really clean, uh, pretty smooth. I think it's perfect for uh, like a standalone, like a single word in caps lock. Uh, again, you could use it for, for a heading. Um, I... This is just like a, a really good, basic, uh, multi-purpose uh, font. And then finally, font number seven. It's called Zero One Kinder. Could just be called Kinder. No, nope, <laughs> Zero One Kinder or Zero One Kinder. Who knows at this point? This font is a handwritten font, yes. and I chose this because Alex did it for me. loves handwritten fonts, but not this one. He hates it. It's fine. <laughs> but... It, no, what's good about all of these fonts, with the exception of the second to last one, because it's it's pretty common, but with most of these fonts is that you, you don't see these traditionally, or you haven't seen them traditionally. Stop the scroll. Yeah, especially in, you know, this minimalistic phase that we're just coming out of. Uh, these are not fonts or design elements that we're used to seeing. And so when you see them online or you see this this crazy coding font that uh, most people aren't familiar with, it's like, what what's going on here? Um, and so, yeah, all of these fonts are going to help keep you on trend with web brutalism, but also stop that scroll if you're using them uh, on social to help share the message of Jesus, because that's what all these posts are trying to do, and that's why we chose these fonts. All seven are free for nonprofit and personal mm -hmm. use, and sure, Alex may not like them, but he also doesn't like Chuck Taylors, which means his opinions <laughs> are null and void. You can't listen to anything yes. he says, and that'll do it for this episode of Pro Church Tools. We'll see you next time. Didn't hear that? I said thanks for watching. Now subscribe. Let's get this video to a million likes. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>